In this video, we'll take a look at uh, the Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition Home tab and some of the tools here in this view window. The first one listed here is the status bar. That's simply the bar along the bottom of the window uh, that can be toggled on or off. Uh, the roadway uh, toggle here is the next one. Uh, by default, uh, Leap Bridge Steel will show you the roadway that is defined as part of the project, but that is something that you can toggle off, and, and that can certainly be very handy. Uh, when you have a very lengthy roadway that's maybe been imported in from one of the uh, civil applications. Next up here is the uh, bridge definition toggle and that's simply this window here along the left side that has all the tools on it so for the most part you're probably going to want to have that on. Uh, the other two here are the uh, bridge tree view and, and the bridge properties and by toggling them basically you're pinning them uh, to the view out here or you can unpin them as well and and have them <coughs> operate as a tab off the the side of the window. So let's take a look at both of these. First I'll open up the bridge tree view and leave that out here. And by default you notice there's no check marks here but if you select either one of these, either the super or substructure, uh, then it will show just that portion of the overall structure. And then you can also individually tick on any of those below there as well. So if you want to see maybe just uh, the beams with uh, the cross frames in there, uh, then you can do that and then rotate this around and see just that portion of uh, the overall structure. So again, any one of these can be uh, turned on or off uh, at any time. The other tool here is the Bridge Properties tool, so I'll go ahead and dock that into place for now. And what this will do is you can select any uh, component of the structure, so in this case for example I'll select a cross frame, and it shows me what it knows about that cross frame as far as the uh, member that makes up the top strut, the bottom strut, uh, the left and the right diagonals, uh, and then their location and length as well. If I select a beam, uh, then it will show me everywhere there's a section property change on that girder. In this case I have built up plate girders so each time a section changes it shows me uh, everything about that section. What's the length of it? Where is it located on the structure? And then what are the dimensions of uh, the top and bottom flange and the web? So this has been kind of a short clip uh, describing some of the tools here in the view window of the home tab of the Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition.